Hey, what's up, Internet? It's Chris Krug. I am here at the Interface Digital Health Summit, and I am here with Vanessa Carpenter. How's it going? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I really enjoyed your little pitch today. Um, Vanessa works at a place called iDemo Lab, which is a part of the big 75-year-old engineering company called Delta. Tell us a little bit about what you do at your lab. Uh, we work in the early stages of the design process. We uh, basically take people through ideation using electronics. So we get their hands dirty right away with electronics. Awesome. Um, let's just pretend we have a pause button here for a sec. Just holler at my camera since it's loud in here. Just we're just going to talk in our loud voices. Okay. Yeah, cool. Yeah. So um, people come to you, they've got an idea and they want to prototype it out and you guys mm -hmm. have a process and some tools for helping them to do ideation and... Exactly, exactly. So we basically uh, work with them. We take some, you know, junk materials. We get them to like build it up try it out. We use these uh, funky little things called eye demo bits and here I have, oops, turn it on first. I have a pressure sensor and as I yeah. press it, it uh, lights up and basically, yeah, the so, whole idea is that people who, for instance, wanted to try out some sensors and some actuators without any programming background could try it out right away. Did you build this toolkit or is this like we Arduinos? No, okay. We, it's based on Arduino. We built it. People can uh, hack it and program it as they like, but for you who doesn't know anything about electronics, you can just piece it together. Um, and so what other types? you got a pressure sensor, you have an actuator, what else you got? We have a touch sensor, we have a button, we have lights, we have sounds, we have potentiometer, we have it all. Cool, and so. so someone could come in and say, hey, I got this idea for a shoe that when uh, you know the, the pressure of your foot hits it, something happens, and you could, with off-the-shelf components, build it right away. Mock that up. Yep, try it out, and we test it with the users, with patients, with doctors, with everybody, right away. Find out if it's a good idea, first of all, find out if it works, and then do it 10 times over to see if it's a good idea or not. That's awesome. So it's a half robotics lab, half experimentation factory. Exactly. Cool. Exactly. A little bit of ethnography, anthropology, engineering, and a whole lot of geek. Where does the anthropology and ethno ethno <laughs> ethnography? <laughs> Yeah, that. Um, so we, we will go to hospitals, to homes, to nursing care stations and everything else and actually sit with people and work with them and find out how they live their lives and everything else and work with them. We co-create with them to create new solutions. Awesome. What are some of the projects you guys have worked on recently? Um, I've been working on this diabetic foot ulcer project, so developing solutions for diabetic foot ulcer um, patients and basically there's one that's like an on-foot enclosure to see if they step on something because usually they can't feel the bottom of their foot. Oh, wow. There's like a patient remote camera so they can see the bottom of their foot because I can't even do that and I'm younger than them. Right. Um, there's we're working on, uh, we've built a training belt for people with uh, prolapsed discs mm -hmm. so that they can do their exercises in a better way. Awesome. Um, all sorts of things all cool. over the board. Well, it sounds like a really fascinating facility you put together. The toys you brought are cool. It's nice to get some hands-on stuff going and it really gets the creative juices flowing. Hopefully so, hopefully so. We cool. have a workshop tomorrow and people can try these out and play with them. So. I'll be there. Perfect. Awesome. Well, thanks for getting on camera with me. Um, Vanessa and KK signing off from Interface Digital Health Summit in Vancouver.